What's going on, guys? I am Pat the Pac-Man. Welcome to another episode of Teaching with Dogs. I don't know, I just made that name up right now. This is my buddy, the Soxter, and I'm joined here with my baby girl, Pepper. Today, I'm going to teach you guys an exercise that is meant to uh, teach eye contact, and it's also meant to teach their names. Their names, if you want to teach your, your dog um, their names. If you have a dog, if you adopted an older dog, and they have a name and you want to change it, this is how you, che you teach them their name. You also teach them to look at you when you're giving them something. So this exercise, along with the patience and calmness exercise that we recorded on another video, will teach your dog how to be perfect when it comes to being in the presence of food, in the presence of toys, in the presence of treats. I mean, I have a little open jar of treats right here we're gonna use in a second. And as you notice, they have no issues. They're not going for them. So uh, this is how you're also gonna teach your dog how uh, you're gonna provide them with food, how you're gonna provide them with toys, how you're gonna provide them with treats. And this also avoids this, again, this exercise along with the patience and calmness exercise from the previous video will teach your dog how to not be aggressive in the presence of food, in the presence of toys. I know you're such a huge fan. In the presence of toys, in the presence of, 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 uh, of treats or food or whatever the case may be. Okay? So what you want to do is you want to take the treat, you want to put it between your thumb and your middle finger. You always engage the nose. So you engage the nose, see, they're already in, into it, Shh. hey. See, now that's perfect, that's a great example. So you see how he's a little more exuberant, a little more excited about it? So, Shh. so if you notice, I don't move this. I don't over, no, stop, hey, no, stop. back it up, no. Calm, verbal correction, the treat stays where it is. Shh. You, don't, you don't want him to invade the space of the treat, right? You wanna keep the treat here and claim it. This is yours and they're not allowed to enter this space. Okay, until you give it to them. And this is exactly how you, okay? So they know, they know this trick, so they're, they're being their boys right now, but they're being cute, cute, I love these guys. Okay, so, so what you wanna do is, you wanna put the treat between your thumb and your middle finger, you engage the nose, okay? There you go, you see that? That was a good job, Soxer. Self-correction, that was beautiful. I know, you're gonna get it in a second. Okay, so thumb and middle finger, engage the nose, and then you take your index finger, and as you say the name, as you say the name, simultaneously, you take your index finger and you point it in between your eyes. So, engage the nose, socks, good boy. Okay? Now back it up, I need some space babies, there you go. So, we'll try that one more time. Thumb and middle finger, index finger, simultaneously say the name, as you're pointing your middle finger, I'm sorry, as you're pointing your index finger between your eyes. So engage the nose, pepper, bam. So the key here is that when you're teaching this exercise, you wanna start off with short time. So you don't wanna to be too fast, you wanna be quicker, okay? So I'm gonna start fast, so I'm gonna do it, pepper, bam, okay? So it's quick, at first it's fast, just to get the ball rolling on it. Thumb and middle finger, between the thumb and middle finger, index finger, you engage the nose, and you point at your eyes, in between your eyes, okay? So, socks, good boy, okay? And then what you wanna do over time is you wanna progressively start to add, consistently and gradually add more time to it. The magic formula is always consistency and gradually. Consistently add more time and gradually do it. Don't go from like three seconds to five minutes, it's too big of a jump. Short periods of time, gradually increase the timing, but do it consistently. So thumb and middle finger, index finger, pepper, boom. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna do it for a little bit longer, right? Same thing. Engage the nose, socks, bam. See it? Locked on to my eyes with pepper the same thing. Pepper, bam, there you go. And this is how we teach them to look at us. So when we're giving them something, see how they're looking right here? This socks is being a good boy now, he's being all calm. So when they're wanting something, watch. Now, I'm going to put the treat on my lap. If you notice, what they're doing here is, look. I know. And I only had one. So let me try that, let me try that with another one there. I'm going to try that with two. So this way they both get one. So I'm going to put two treats on my lap. Okay? And the objective is that they know that they have to look at me. They have to look at me before they get anything. See it? That's how it works. Eye contact. You look at the source of food, the source of treats, 
the source of toys, and then it's provided to you. And this way there's no aggression amongst each other, amongst you and them, amongst anybody else, because this is how they learn that in order for them to get treats, to get food, they have to acknowledge that it's the source that counts. Does that make all sense? Okay? So any questions on that, let me know. Watch the other video about calmness and patience. You link them together. And any questions, let me know. Catch you guys next time. Good boy, Sox Cheer. Good boy, Pepper. Here, just for the hell of it. Let's show him off. Let's show off. Catch. Bam. Hey, Soxster. Catch. Bam. <laughs> Got you guys next time.